thinking as you came in and here you have what four number ones in a row that's right mm-hmm. right you walk in you have nobody with you you have no record label person you have no manager and i'm saying this in the, in the most loving like yeah. respectful way you have no crew you showed up and i was like hey i see russell in the the green room where's his people and they're like no no he just rolled up by himself that's, that's it bro that's amazing yeah mm-hmm. I, don't I don't know that anybody's done that no really Me- I don't, I don't know. It feels weird to bring people like, hey, man, come on. Like, well, we all got to roll deep. Your labels, though, <laughs> would be like, hey, we need to go with you and make sure Bobby doesn't do anything stupid. Right. You know, that happens. We've done this enough times, though. Okay. You know? I'm just saying. Yeah. I find it oddly refreshing that you walked in here yeah, all man. alone. And I was like, is Russ already? I don't see his people there. And they're like, he's by himself. Yeah. Like, also, let me say this in the most respectful <laughs> way. You're jacked. What? Like really? You, you've been look at him. Oh, thanks, Isn't he bro. huge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I think serious. It's just like his pressing against no. him. It's like when you. Push it up, you know? <laughs> I see you on Instagram, and you do your dad bod workout, yeah. whatever you call them. Dad bod wad. He did a sh- He was doing a uh, workout of the day. Some kind of or, yeah. Instagram shower head thing. He was selling a shower head or something. And, I, and he had a shirt off, and I hit him up. I'm not about the shower head. I was like, dude, <laughs> how, who knew you had those abs? <laughs> Am I going a little too hard on his body right now? No, I mean, I'm sure he enjoys it. Oh, just bring it. Keep, is there keep a shower? Is there a shower head we need in our lives? Is a speaker oh, yeah, or something? Dude. Right? Yeah, the Kohler. It's like Kohler Moxie and legit. Like within the shower head is a Bluetooth speaker that sounds fantastic. And then when you're done, pop it out, take it over to the sink. It's it's legit. Interesting. Yeah. The guy's six foot four and he's ripped up. <laughs> I'm just amazed. <laughs> he's got a new baby. Honestly, that's where it's from. Is holding this 25 pound kid just constantly. My favorite thing you guys do with your baby is you lift his shirt up and you just have his fat laying out there and you just like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hilarious. His belly, his cheeks, his thighs. How hard is it to have a newborn? It honestly, the first six weeks I was like, another kid, let's go, let's do it. And then that like the exhaustion just never stopped, and so it was like it was like, all right, we might need a little minute. You know what I mean? Like it was like. Kept going, like, okay, no sleep that night. We're good. Next day, no sleep, no sleep. And then it just, like, never stops. Even last night. Doesn't stop. So you're just always tired? Pretty much. I'm going to play a couple clips here. Uh, He's got a bunch of number ones in a row. You guys may know yours. Here you go. Blue Tacoma. Blue Tacoma, California. Every little thing. Because I love every little Love you like I used to. I don't love you like I used to. This you still a morning person with Absolutely. the baby? Absolutely. It's made me more of a morning person. This guy wakes up and he's like, you know, in Oklahoma, oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> like that? That's <laughs> literally him every day of his life. <laughs> he wakes up like SpongeBob. He's like, this is the greatest day ever. <laughs> he's always in a good mood. Oh. I, I, what is it? What's your morning routine? You wake up. What do you do? Uh, now it's like I wake up and me and me and Remington have just our bro time. I put him in his little play thing, read a little bit, drink coffee, have a little breakfast. And then because Kale's will get up in the middle of the night and deal with baby. And then so I let her sleep until whenever in the morning. So that's my responsibility as a dad. How gross is it to change your baby's diaper or not at all? Uh, it's getting there. It's getting it's getting pretty because like he'll have like a major blowout. And it's like up his back and like coming out the sides and the thighs and everywhere. Like, and it never happens at home either. It's like, it's always out in public. It's at the mall. It's, you know, wherever it is. And so we're like on the, on the tailgate of the truck, just like changing our baby in the middle of a parking lot. And it's, uh, it's not that gross though. I was thinking, because we had this doctor on who can extend height. What? Now, what happens, he, why he originally studied it, because people get an accident, so they're born with something, mm-hmm. and they can fix that by equaling things. But then it's turned into a cosmetic surgery. Where there was a guy who was 5'11", went in, paid $75,000. He's 6'1", now. For two inches. For two inches. Now, the doctor told me I could get six inches, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Five. And I would be taller than you. <laughs> yeah. For how much, though? Is it like oh, 75 sh- per oh, no, that's, two it inches? It starts at 75. Right. So, yeah. He so, that would be have... 75 times three? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so, we're... oh, he's going to do the math. Go ahead. I uh, know. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> you know, there was a, a, a really great story that happened over the holiday. You came across your fan Sarah's story. Mm. Tell the show and tell our listeners what happened there. Oh, man. So, I'm tagged in this video, and it's this girl in a hospital bed doing this little, like, dance to Home Sweet. 
and uh and so i'm like oh that's that's fun and like as i keep watching the video i realize that like and i read the story of what's happening and she was hit head on in a car crash and lost both of her legs amputated and so uh and j but like just to see the joy on her face like of of this 17 year old girl doing this dance to home sweet and then i swipe over and it's like her entire cheer squad and turns out her goal was to get out of the hospital like recover fast enough to uh be wheeled out on the 50 yard line i have chills i cried just talking about this to be wheeled out on the 50 yard line uh to do this dance to home sweet for homecoming and she did and it i like it was just like one of the most special moments that i've seen and so I, I called my manager. I was like, what can we do? Any and everything, like, I'm all in. And so we ended up teaming up with Chevy, and uh, they they gave her a 2021 Chevy Traverse, and they're going to fully uh, upfit it for her, like, you know, her new life. And so she'll be able to travel around in that little thing. And, and so that was, like, one of the – that's one of the, like, highlights of my career up until this point is to be able to – you know, literally just call up Chevy and change someone's life. And so shout out to them for, to Chevy for pulling out all that off. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. Awesome. Crazy. I think I want to play that song now. Russell Dickerson's here. Uh, we're going to keep him here a little bit. But let's play Home Sweet. This is the new single. Yes, indeed. I saw uh, like a mat, a, a home mat mm -hmm. on Maybe Gator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gator. It said Home Sweet. Yep. He sends out the best promotional gifts. I got like a whole speaker <laughs> set from him one day. Oh, yes. My daughter is a, the speakers you sent. Yeah. That's what she uses. It's her, one of them is like a main Bluetooth yes. thing and then the earbud. Yeah. Boom. Hopefully next song, Come you on. call Chevy and they send me like a car or something. <laughs> right. Like promotional Just gift. making it rain uh -huh. trucks. Uh, yeah. here, give me like a, a sentence description of this song, Home Sweet. Oh, man. It's just the, it's the span of getting back from our honeymoon and being completely broke to second verse, being on the road, brushing our teeth, truck stops, craziness. Third verse is us finding out we're pregnant and having a baby. You're just killing it. Do you feel like that it took forever to kill it? Because, again, you're one of the guys that had no money and were grinding, no label. I mean, or do you feel like it was like a, a climb that you kind of felt momentum the entire time? No, dude. There were... There were moments a lot like early on. Like I started off like 2010, 11, and uh, man, playing for any, I mean, $250 to drive to Omaha, Nebraska and play a dorm room lobby that only the RAs are there because they have to be there. And then, <laughs> and then, but not just that random, but that happening like time after time after time again like you pull up to a show you're like all right maybe this one will be different maybe there'll be some people there and then you they're like oh yeah you're actually playing in the cafeteria today and and so like in a concrete cafeteria with like just a giant brick building and everybody's like dear please stop full band like drums everything they're like just please like we're trying to eat lunch <laughs> dude. please like, we'll pay you to not play so there have been times like that along the way i remember your wife and she was bragging on you, but talking about how you would play a full show, full band, everything, at like a, a festival, and there would be eight people standing around, but you would perform it as hard as possible. Oh, yeah. We raged all Like, the it time. didn't matter. Yeah. Two or 2,000. Like, yeah. you were going hard. Yeah. I mean, it's like one of those things where it you can either, like, pout about it, or you can go in your mind and just envision arenas and envision yourself getting there. And that's what I chose to do, man, Every every time. I was talking to your buddy Thomas Rhett, and you guy. guys are you guys are good friends. Yes. And I was running some business ideas by him. Okay. Like, like, and I had a couple great ones that he didn't like. He didn't want to invest any money. Really? In. Well, I had. Yeah, ask him. I gave okay. him some A plus ideas, but I have a couple for you. Let's go. That I think if you started these, you could really make some money, and I would be happy to come in as an angel investor. Oh yes. Okay. Like a meal delivery kit, but instead of focusing on, you know, the meats and the cheeses. It's mostly just on Brussels sprouts, and it's called Russell's Brussels. It's different Brussels sprouts <laughs> from all over. Because there's a, there's a demand for Brussels sprouts. Honestly. Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of Brussels sprouts, so Russell's I'm 100% in. Think about that. Um, that's pretty much the only one I had for him today. Oh. <laughs> it's just <laughs> tough, you know? That's the only one you need, It's bro, just tough. But Russell, with a brilliant idea like that? Which famous Russell would you most like to hang out with? Russell Wilson, quarterback for the Seahawks. Russell Brand. 
funny comedian, British dude. Yeah. Russell Crowe seems like he'd be miserable to hang out with. <laughs> so up to you. <laughs> up to you. <laughs> Which one? Man, probably Russell Wilson. I feel like that would be that'd be a great hang. I actually met him one time, and it was one of the you know one of those kind of starstruck moments because he was with Sierra. Sierra. Where did you meet Sorry. Russell? Because we're on in Seattle now, mm -hmm. um, and he's a big fan. He listens every morning. Russell Wilson does. What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I don't know if he does Just that. kidding. You know. But um, where did you meet him? What was the situation? Uh, at the Clive Davis Grammy oh, party. What a flex. Jeez. He didn't even I flex. Mean, I, uh, I pulled it out uh, of you. Yeah, sorry. So you're at the Clive Davis Grammy party, and he's chilling? Here's the Yes. Here's the thing, though, is we were like, we we had to, we entered in like the the back door. And like our seats were taken when we went to sit down, and like Brandy Carl, I'm literally not, I'm name dropping because awesome. please do of how little of what peons we were at this party, and so we're like, you know, Brandy Carl, I'm like, hey, like I think these are our seats, and like she shows us our tickets, we're like oh, comparing yeah. or whatever, and I'm like, you know what, just forget it, and so I went to, I went out back to the lobby, I was like, hey, like we don't have seats, uh, could we just like whatever so we end up going they're like here just come here so they put us on the second row with like miguel uh what's her name from the pussycat dolls and culture like, singer oh yeah. yeah and so we're just like what the actual heck are we doing here like we don't belong here by any means we're not nominated for anything <laughs> and we're just like oh my god dude, this is crazy <laughs> and that's when you meet russell wilson yeah was he bigger in person yes yeah yeah, yeah. because so is she she's tall too yeah and they were nice to you? Incredible. Hmm. I wonder how much a suit costs. That's Sierra? always what I wonder when I see famous people. How much do their suits cost? <laughs> Honestly. What about Sierra? She remembered my name, though. From meeting when we, you when? Well, she's married to Russell Wilson. She was like, bye, Russell. I was like, she knows my name. <laughs> oh. She knows she my remember, name. Yeah, yeah I got it. No. You know, uh, I like every little thing because it's, it's, it's the most upbeat of your hits, I think. Is it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Have a little, have a little. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good one. Come Where on. do you put that in the set list? Oh man! Usually, that's like the bring it back up kind of thing, you know. So you knock them down, then you take them back yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. At Russell E D. Mm hmm. Russell D was taken, so I just put my middle initial in there too. Russell E D. Was he being funny? Well, I asked him that too. <laughs> I was like, "What what medical condition are you referring to here, Russell?" <laughs> Oh, I saw some article that said if you put your middle initial when you are announcing your name, that you instantly are perceived as more intellectual. Or See? we hear erectile Did dysfunction. It right? uh, well, it's no. one of those. I not, Either I'm not smart e. or have trouble. <laughs> no, if you were to elsewhere. be like, hi, I'm Russell E. Dickerson. Absolutely. Right? Like, you sound smart. Right. <laughs> What's your middle initial? E. Amy E. Brown. I just got smarter. <laughs> but it's like, like wait. It's, I was like, did you just stutter or was that I, Amy, <laughs> Amy, Amy E? Amy E. Amy E. <laughs> e. <laughs> Elizabeth. That's funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, Russell Dickerson is here. Let me encourage you guys. Check out Southern Symphony. It came out in December, but he's just uh, knocking down the hits. He got the new song, Home Sweet, we played a few minutes ago. You know I love you, Russell Dickerson. I love you, bro. Good to see you, buddy. Yes, there thanks for is. having me. Let's clap them out and sing without the guitar every little thing. Here we go. And, and I love every little, every little, every little thing about your love. Uh. Just a little, just a little, just a little bit, but that's so much. Uh. Yes, all right, back in a minute, everybody. It's about emotion. Hey.